We bet you haven't seen such an easy FBS4 data transfer between an original and a donor DSM, DSM-222. You only need the original DSM and a donor DSM, to which the FBS4 data will be transferred, just make sure the part numbers are the same. Diag Code's Extreme FBS4 DSM tool software works with DSM and DSM-222 controllers. Pinout connection for Benchwork is available via Help button. In order to establish a connection with DSM, we have to connect to a 120 ohm resistor across the CAN H and CAN L lines. The software is working with J2534 hardware. To read the information from DSM, just click the button Info. The software will display the current working voltage. We recommend 13.8 V. This is the original DSM's FBS4 information. VIN and software are hardware part numbers. The software automatically creates a folder and names it with the VIN number scanned from the DSM. Inside this folder is a text file with the information from the DSM. Next step is to read the full EEPROM and FBS4 data from the original DSM. Software automatically saves two files. One file is the FBS4 data file, which also contains the VIN, and the other file is the full 4K Lab EEPROM. Now it is time to connect to the donor DSM and repeat the same steps as we did with the original DSM. As before, the software automatically creates a folder and names it with the VIN number scanned from the DSM. You can rename this folder at any time. All this. Reading writing is done entirely by diagnostics. There is no need to open the DSM, solder cables, lift the processor pin or any other similar actions. Again, all the required information and files are saved automatically. This is the donor DSM's FBS4 information, VIN and software, hardware part numbers. By pressing the button Renew, the software creates a new DSM within seconds that is ready to accept the FBS4 personalization data from the original DSM. The donor DSM is now initialized and ready to be personalized using the previously saved FBS4 data file from the original DSM. We read the renewed donor DSM and save all files. After pressing the button, Personalize. The software will simply ask for the original DSM's FBS4 data file, and that's how easy it is. The donor DSM is now personalized with the FBS4 data and the VIN number from the original DSM. We can compare the info file from the original DSM to verify that all data has been transferred to the donor DSM successfully. Fast, easy, and reliable.